Does anyone know when the original soundtrack released? I really want to get my hands on it. I honestly didn't know the soundtrack was coming out, but here it is. I'm so happy. Ah, I just hear the soundtrack. It's so amazing. Oh, I can hear it all day. But enough about that. We got a review to go over. So let's get started. A long time ago, Gotoge has promised that the rock pillar is the strongest pillar. Honestly, I have recently found out and while I'm not entirely sure to be the case, I would have believed it easily based on this chapter alone. It's finally the time for him to get into the action. And what better way to challenge than Koko Shibo. After a series of hype demonstration, it's now his time. And man, it certainly delivered and then some. Before getting into the chapter, once again, the cover tells a story and this time, we learn that Tanjiro and Giyu are back up and moving. I wonder how the anime will handle these covers since they will eventually lead to somewhere. It's good to know their status, though I wonder where they will go to now. I don't think they will bump into Kokushibo or other upper moon. I believe they will go straight to Muzan. Hopefully everyone alive will regroup in time. This is hyping me up. Speaking of hype, the chapter now begins. Even before Gyomei makes a move, I can already feel the hype aura surrounding him. We got a taste of it back when he was trying to kill Muzan. But now, this will be a real one-on-one -on -one fight. I really like the subtlety of Gyomei's bond with Sanami, with the advice to heal up while he fights. Sanami's reaction reflects the backstory scene where he was cold and Gyomei was visibly upset. It did leave a bad impression, but this recent moment is like water under the bridge. Let bygone be bygone. It's why Sanami reacted with a bit of a shock and thankful. It's a nice subtle moment. Kokushibo has been incredibly impressive, taking out three slayers alone. He can even use the transparent world, which doesn't come off as a surprise, but still incredible. As impressed he was with the past two pillars, Gyome is the one that legitimately got him hype. He can't help but feel the excitement, visibly smiling in front of them. I like to think he's channeling us fans on the thrills and chills. I certainly can't blame him. I thought this chapter would stall the fight in order to create a suspense for the next chapter, since this is before a holiday break like it didn't want to start and reserve it for next time. I wouldn't mind depending on the content, but fortunately that wasn't the case. The fight hasn't started, but the startup is nerve wracking. Gyome is preparing to combat, drawing in the air with his chain. I felt like I needed to hold my breath for the intensity. I'm just waiting for someone to scream, Ajime! When the action starts, ho ho ho, is great from start to finish. Gyome starts to strike, and while he missed the first part, the chain of action, no pun intended, doesn't slow down one bit. He can throw the ball and the axe simultaneously, meaning if he missed the ball, he can throw the axe immediately or even at the same time. He doesn't need to rebalance his position. That's pretty impressive. I like how Kokushiba was about to use moon breathing but caught off guard from the axe. Luckily for him he dodged it but damn that was close. He tries to use the moon breathing but the pacing is fast. You would think Gyomei would be strong but slow due to heavy weapons. Instead not only he's greatly built for them but he keeps up the pace and increases it. At one point, he does a stone breathing to lift up the ball to strike him. An enemy cannot take their time to strike back. The sequences have been great so far. It's not only thrilling to see them in combat, but also thrilling to see the attempts to land a hit on Kokushibo. Since he has been dodging many close calls, at this point, it would be unbelievable to see him hurt. 
Leave it to Gyomei to give it a try. The ball and axe are crazy strong, but the chain itself is also crazy strong. The fact Kokushimo can't even break it with his sword is quite telling. It's practically unbreakable. It could have demolished him, seeing how he was wrapped up, but it only cut his hair. Let me tell you, that haircut is as remarkable as landing a hit. I even gasped when it happened. That's how intense the fight is. The best part about it is how it doesn't feel like one-sided. Although it's a hype showcase for Gyomei, it doesn't resort to Kokushibo getting overwhelmed easily and exposition his opponent's technique. While he does explain their skills and feet, never did he feel like he's going to lose. Also, his words are filled with compliments to his enemy. So it's not devaluing any pillars. Everyone is treated with respect. It's just that Kokushibo is too damn strong. Only exception was Genya. But it's not done to hate on him as shown by his narration. Gyomei received plenty of compliments, delivered his credibility, and rightfully so. He is damn strong. With all that being said, the fight feels like evenly split, and that's exciting. The action grows intense as both are trying to land a hit. Each panel increased my leg shakiness. At this break, I'm begging for Gyomei to scratch him. I don't care what it takes, just leave a tiny mark on Kokushibo. It's seriously unnerving. Kokushibo tries to use moon breathing while his sword was chained, but it finally breaks apart. I gasp even louder than the haircut. Both of them go screw it and go for direct hit with both moon and stone breathing techniques. That double page spread is filled with greatness. It's like watching two titans going at it. Let them fight. I don't recall seeing two breathings collide, but it was spectacular. It was said earlier that Kokushibo's sword is made out of his flesh. That's disgusting. But again, compliment his design wonderfully. I should have expected his sword to regenerate, but regardless, that's just crazy. Gyomei takes the first hit. Of course he would. Ah, damn it. The chapter could have ended with a normal cliffhanger. But since there's a break coming up, Botoge wanted to end with sheer hype. Gyome is about to go all in with an attack reserved for Muzan. When you hear that, you know this got serious really fast. Like muttering, holy crap. Now I regret wanting the action to begin here. This was a really entertaining chapter. I would love to see this animated let alone all other scenes in general. Gyome is really strong and impressive. He came really close on leaving a scratch. The action was great and intense. Choreograph was very solid. The artwork was clean and really good, especially the double page spread. Just look at it, it just looks so damn awesome. The cliffhanger leaves a serious hype for the next chapter, which is sadly coming much later due to the holiday. Oh well, enjoy the break for now, because the rock pillar will come down crashing soon. And that will do it for the review. I hope you enjoyed this one. Ah, oh, I can hear the soundtrack all day. Sadly, there's only five with two drama tracks, but that's okay. I cannot wait for the next set. By God, I can hear this all day. It goes without saying. Please support the official release. So what do you think of this chapter? Share your thoughts in the comment section. If you like this and want more of this, subscribe to my channel and my world will be yours to stay. Until next time, take care.